Hi, I'm Phil Meeks. I'm an extension agent for Agriculture and Natural Resources with Virginia Cooperative Extension in Wise County. And I wanted to point out a few native trees and shrubs that can be toxic to livestock. So they're ones that livestock producers, whether they're dealing with horses, cattle, sheep or goats, should be aware of, know how to identify, because these can cause some problems with a herd. So this is the first one. This is, this is a buckeye. There are several species of buckeye you may run across in Wise County, but uh, the more common one here is gonna be yellow buckeye. They're all d distinguished by these palmately compound leaves. The leaves are toxic. The young shoots on the tree are toxic, but normally what livestock will come into contact with is this. That's the immature nut and its husk. And there's folklore that says that only half of this is toxic, but the toxin is, is throughout the nut. The nut outside the husk, this is, this is what it's gonna look like. It's, it's pretty large, uh, pretty distinctive. It puts you in mind of chestnuts, if you've ever encountered those. But that is the buckeye. Another toxic tree is this one. This is the red maple, very common tree here in Wise County. This one is not toxic in its green state, but in uh, following a storm, when the limbs get knocked down into a paddock, that will, will uh, wilt, and then that's when the toxin will develop. And once the toxin develops, it can, it can be active for a full month. So it's not something that's gonna, gonna go away. It isn't believed that's, that our other maple species will contribute to any livestock injuries, um, but the red maple, it does have a toxin. And usually when we talk about toxic effects to livestock with red maple, we're, we're typically talking about horses. They're the ones that will usually encounter uh, damage from the red maple. The next two are two shrubs that are in the same family. This is mountain laurel. It blooms in May here in Wise County. It's, um, it's also known as ivy. That's one of the local names for this. The mountain laurel is in the heather family. And another one that's in the heather family, we'll walk down to, this is the rhododendron. The rhododendron has larger leaves. Here in Wise County, at least the native uh, rhododendrons that are common, those will bloom in June. Has a longer leaf, usually a bigger shrub. Um, a 500 pound calf that happens to eat a pound of the leaves from either the, the mountain laurel or the rhododendron, that can be a fatal dose. Uh, rhododendron is also known as mountain laurel in some locations, but as far as the more common name that you'll find in literature, it's the bigger one that is, is known as, as the rhododendron. And then the smaller one that we saw is, is the mountain laurel. And I, I usually think of the rhododendrons as being along creeks and the uh, mountain laurel has been in drier locations, but I have seen both in, in both of those locations. And finally, we have this one. This is the black cherry, also known as the wild cherry. It does have an edible fruit. You can see that dangling on some of these. Uh, will get, get black and can be eaten. Uh, the black cherry, very similar to the um, Red maple is it becomes a problem once a limb falls into a paddock and uh, it wilts. And in that situation, you're gonna get a higher concentration of prussic acid and that can be fatal to your livestock. In fact, a pound and a half of these dried black cherry leaves can kill a 1200 pound cow. So it is very potent. And as far as identification goes, you can, uh, you'll often see this very flaky bark on the mature trees. And if you look at the bark, both on the limbs and on the trunk, you'll see these little flecks. These are lenticels, is what they're called, and that can help with the identification. Another way that this tree interacts in a negative way with 
livestock is in the spring right in the crotch where the branches meet the trunk sometimes you'll find the uh, eastern tent caterpillars and those have been connected with mare reproductive loss syndrome the hairs from the caterpillars will fall onto the ground and once the um, the horses the pregnant mares eat those hairs then that can lead to abortions so if you have pregnant mares you especially need to be be mindful of the black cherry as far as what the livestock producer can do to uh, to cut back on the possibility of uh, poisoning by these native species mainly it's just to to know how to identify those know what's out there be be um, cognizant of what's growing along your fence rows and it is a good practice especially after a storm or, or some high winds to walk your fence rows just to make sure none of these limbs have fallen into the paddock but uh, but those are five trees and shrubs that are native that can be an issue for livestock producers if you have questions uh, about any of those or other species that you may run across in a grazing situation please give us a call at the extension office in wise